Hey there, Aqua Enthusiasts. Welcome back to my channel where I deep dive into the wonderful world of fish keeping. Today, I've got something very special for you and that is gonna be a full care guide on the iconic clownfish. Clownfish with their vibrant colors and their wonderful personalities are a favorite among fish keepers. But providing them with the best care is essential to make sure they thrive in your tank. So let's get started. First things first, creating the perfect environment for your clownfish is a crucial start. So let's start off with a spacious tank of at least 20 gallons for a pair and 10 gallons for one. Make sure it is equipped with the right amount of filtration for that size tank and a little bit more just in case. And also make sure it has enough hiding spots for your fish and so that they don't feel stressed and they could get away from other aggressive fish. Things such as live rock and coral are amazing hiding spots, hiding spots for your clownfish. So just consider that. And also anemones, if you know how to take care of them, are amazing places for your clownfish to hide and feel safe. Maintaining stable water parameters, including temperature at around 75 to 82 Fahrenheit or 24 to 28 Celsius, and a pH level of around 8.1 to 8.84 is a good range of parameters that you want to keep your water at for a healthy and happy clownfish. Regular water testing and water changes are essential to keeping your fish ha happy and healthy and keeping toxins out of your tank. Next up, let's talk about how about feeding clownfish. They are omnivore fish, so they'll eat anything from nori to mice shrimp. But I often give mine some pellets that are um, focused on a carnivore and a vegetarian based diet or a herbivore based diet. And I also like to add in some frozen food to provide a little bit more of a natural food source. You can also feed live vine shrimp or any other live foods that they would normally eat in the wild if you can get your hands on them. Remember when you're feeding that you feed in small portions and if your fish still look hungry at the end of the day, you feed them a second or third time. This mimics their natural feeding behavior where they eat multiple times a day, but they don't eat a lot in that one sitting. Speaking of behaviors, let's discuss clownfish behaviors and tank mate. These social creatures thrive in pairs and or small groups, so consider keeping them with a couple tank mates like other peaceful fish species or inverts. But also, you want to avoid hassling them with two, uh, species that are too aggressive for them or species that they will be too aggressive towards. And also do individual research on the fish that you plan on adding. And there you have it, a simple and comprehensive guide on caring for a clownfish. With the right setup, proper nutrition, and understanding the clownfish behavior, you can enjoy this beautiful and charming creature for years to come. If you found this guy helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fish keeping tips and tricks. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below, or if you wanna share your own clownfish experience, leave it down there below. And until next time, happy fish keeping.